क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन द मार्क्स ऑप्टेन बाय टू स्टूडेंट्स ए एंड बी एंड इन टेंथ सेट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन आर गिवन बिलो यर द सेट इज गिवन एंड द मार्क्स ऑफ ए एंड मार्क्स ऑफ बी विच स्टूडेंट इज मोर कंसिस्टेंट इन द स्टडी नाउ व्हेन इट दे गिव द कंपेरेटिव स्टडी यर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट को एफिशियंट ऑफ वेरियंस सो फर्स्ट वील फाइंड आउट टेक ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन इन द टू कॉलम एंड यर आई एम गोइंग टू फर्स्ट आफ्टर पुटिंग द एग्स as we will consider it as a raw data and out of this raw data first we'll find out the mean here for to find out the mean get the total of the group student of marks of student a that is 620 divide by number of students that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 and here we get the answer mean is 62 the next we find out is standard deviation and to find out the standard deviation as we get the answer in integer here we are going to find out sigma x minus x bar whole square upon n now the next what we need is x minus x bar column so here x minus x bar the mean which we find out just now is 62 so 44 minus 62 will get the answer minus 18 80 minus 62, 18. Remember, वो मीन डिविएशन में हम एब्सोल्यूट ब्रैकेट रखते हैं ये हम स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ढूंढ रहे हैं तो डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज कि अब साइन क्यों रखा यहाँ पे तो साइन रखेंगे क्योंकि यहाँ पे हमारे पास एब्सोल्यूट ब्रैकेट नहीं है नेक्स्ट 76 सिक्स माइनस सिक्सटी टू विल गेट फोर्टीन फोर्टी एट माइनस सिक्सटी टू माइनस फोर्टीन फिफ्टी टू माइनस सिक्सटी टू माइनस टेन सेवेंटी टू माइनस सिक्सटी टू टेन 68 minus 62 will get 6. 56 minus 62 minus 6. 60 minus 62 minus 2. 64 minus 62 plus 2. We are not going to make any calculation out of this as we need the square of it. That is x minus x bar whole square. That is 18 multiplied by 18, 324. Same for the next number. 14 multiplied by 14, 196. 196 माइनस माइनस प्लस मिट साइन टर्न हो जाएगा ना तो यहाँ पे हम साइन नहीं रखेंगे 10 टेन जा हंड्रेड अगेन 10 टेन जा हंड्रेड सिक्स सिक्स जा थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स टू टू जा फोर नाउ गेट द टोटल ऑफ दिस कॉलम ये वी गेट वन थ्री टू जीरो नाउ लेट्स कीप इन टू द फॉर्मूला वन थ्री टू जीरो दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एंड सिक्स दैट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ x that is 10 get it cut 1 3 2 remove the root of it you will get 11.489 as you can see the third digit is more than 5 so here will answer will be 49 11.49 moving to the next for the student b and the same way we have to find out here so because after mean and standard deviation we are going to find out coefficient of variance that we'll do later let we find out the uh, student b means and standard deviation so here we get the marks and total mean so mean is equal to sigma x upon n 605 divide by 10 and here we get the answer 60.5 now that's the answer in decimal Remember the for decimal we use which formula? That is sigma f x square upon n minus sigma f x upon n whole square. But as we don't have a frequency, don't keep f. The next information we need is sigma x square. So here we'll find out x square. That is forty eight multiplied by forty eight. You will get. Two three zero four seventy five multiplied by seventy five five six two five fifty four multiplied by fifty four two nine one six sixteen to sixty three six double zero sixteen three multiplied by sixty three that is sixty multiplied by sixty okay six uh, here comes sixty nine sixty nine multiplied by sixty nine four seven six one seventy two multiplied by seventy two fifty seven eight Four fifty one multiplied by fifty one two six zero one fifty seven multiplied by fifty seven three two four nine 
फिफ्टी सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई फिफ्टी सिक्स थ्री वन थ्री सिक्स एंड द टोटल इज थ्री सेवन थ्री फोर फाइव सो लेट्स किप इन टू द फॉर्मूला थ्री सेवन थ्री फोर फाइव दैट इज सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय एन दैट इज टेन माइनस सिग्मा एक्स ये वी ऑलरेडी डिड द कैलकुलेशन सिक्स जीरो फाइव डिवाइड बाय टेन होल स्क्वायर सो गेट इट डिवाइड थ्री सेवन थ्री फोर पॉइंट फाइव माइनस सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव होल स्क्वायर थ्री सेवन थ्री फोर पॉइंट फाइव माइनस सिक्सटी पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय सिक्सटी पॉइंट फाइव यू विल गेट थ्री सिक्स सिक्स जीरो टू फाइव नाउ गेट देम सब्सट्रैक्ट द आंसर विल बी सेवन फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड रिमूव द रूट ऑफ दिस यू विल गेट द आंसर एट पॉइंट सिक्स वन सिक्स As you can see, the third digit is more than five. So here will answer will be sixty two eight point sixty two. So here we are ready with the mean and the standard deviation. So here we can find out the coefficient of variance. S upon x into hundred, and here we'll solve for student B. Here is for A and here is for B. For A, let's take the value of standard deviation one one point four nine divided by mean sixty two into hundred, and out of this calculation we'll get eighteen point fifty three percentage. For student B, standard deviation is eight point sixty two. Divide by mean sixty point five into hundred. Remove the calculation of this. You will get fourteen point twenty five percentage. So we can write that coefficient of variance of marks of student B is less than the student A. Moving to the next and the last question, that is question number eight. The following are the distribution of weight. In kg for the student of two group A and B, find the coefficient of variance of each group. Which group has a greater relative variance? So here we have the weight and the group A, group B. When it is the class is given, group A and group B information is the frequency. So first let's take the information in our book. Here you can see I just made it separate for the group A and group B. The Class and the frequency are the same. Only the frequency which is given the different for the group B that is written, but the class is same, as the common class is given in the question, right? So now let's start the solution. Out of the continuous frequency distribution, first we'll find out the mid value that is twenty plus thirty divided by two. That is fifty divided by two. The answer is twenty five. Thirty plus forty will be seventy divided by two. Thirty five. This is how you have to do the calculation. Please do it in your calculator. The mid value you will find out this. Then we'll multiply x with frequency to find out f x, which will be one seventy five. That is twenty five multiplied by seven. Then thirty five into ten, three fifty, nine hundred, nine ninety, four fifty five. And the total of this will be two eight seven zero. Take into the formula two eight seven zero divided by n. That is the total number of frequency sixty two, and here we get the answer forty six point twenty nine. As we can see, the answer in decimal will again find out in f x square. Remember to find out the standard deviation formula when we answer get the decimal in decimal. That is sigma f x square upon n minus sigma f x upon And whole square. So here we need the sigma f x square value means f x get multiply with x. This column will get multiply with this column. One seventy five multiply by twenty five, you will get four three seven five. Three fifty multiply by three five thirty five, one two two fifty nine hundred multiply by forty five, four zero five zero zero. This is how. Please continue with your calculation with the. Help of calculator. 
75 and the total of this 141150 now let's keep into the formula 141150 and is 62 minus 2870 divided by 62 whole square now first get it divide on the division of this you will get 227 6.61 minus on the division of this you can take it directly as well that is 4629 whole square 2276.61 minus 46.29 multiply by 46.29 you will get 2142.76 on get it subtract 133.85 and remove the root of it the answer is 11.57. Here we complete with the mean and standard deviation for the group A. Same way we'll do for group B. First of all, we'll find out the mid value. Obviously, the mid value will be the same as they are sharing a similar class. So, here same That is 25, 35, 45, 55 and 65. I just copied from here as due to common class. Then fx ke liye dono ka multiplication. Here we get 5 into 25, 125, 9 into 35, 315, 21 into 45, 945, 55 multiplied by 15, 825. Then comes 390 and the total of this will be 2600. So first we'll find out mean sigma fx upon and that is 2600 divided by 56 and here we get the answer 46.43 again we get the answer in decimal the standard deviation formula will be sigma fx square upon n minus sigma fx upon n whole square so this is the only thing which we have to find out so fx multiplied by x which will be our fx square the column this two column will get multiplied and the answer will be this calculation you can do it directly in your calculator 4 2 5 2 5 4 5 3 7 5 2 5 3 5 0 and get it total 1 2 7 4 double 0 that is for the sigma x multiplied by x fx square now let's skip into the value 1 2 7 4 double 0 and is 56 minus sigma fx you can take it directly as we have already kept into the value of mean and the same formula of mean. On the division of this, you will get what 2275 minus this will be 46.43 whole square. So 2275 minus 46.43 multiplied by 46.43, you will get 215574. Get it subtract, you will get 119.26, and if you remove the root, you will get 10.92. After finding the value of mean and standard deviation, here I find out coefficient of variance by keeping the value of standard deviation that is 1157 and the mean 46.29 multiplied by 100. Answer is 25%. Same for the group B, I did standard deviation 10.92 divide by. 46.43 of mean multiplied by 100 that is 23.54 so here we can say that so coefficient of variance group a is more than the b or we can write down that uh, coefficient of variance of group b is less than the a that so that was the last question of this chapter see you in the next chapter